I would like to tell you exactly where we are, but I can't because I have no idea. But I can tell you we are up a mountain above Kingston. Um, we've just managed to collect Honey Hill from way, way, way up in the bush. Um, flatlands and no, it wasn't Flamstead. Um, two hours outside of Kingston. Um, I'm trying to do a live feed for as long as we can because although we can't see too much of the scenery because it's obviously dark, the if you see the roads that people have to take every day, it is quite something. And um, everybody who's in Kingston knows that um, Gordon Road, is it Gordon Road, Gordon Town? The road up there um, is, it was washed away in the heavy rains that we had recently. Um, and actually, as you drive along, you can see here where these roads have all been cleared because of landslides, you know? I don't know if you can see, no, you can't, all right. Um, so all of that in front is, is landslide. You see the dirt on the side of the road and everything, it's been cleared out. I would like to stress that we're doing this in a little RAV4 and uh, Perline, and she's doing well. But this is not me bouncing everybody around, guys. This is really the road. But we have the little dog that um, caused me a sleepless night last night. We've driven back up now. This is Dr. Smith, who you can't even see because it's too dark in here. Um, came over, drove all the way up from Mobe to have a meeting with Sebastian and myself today. And we got the call to say that she had been caught. So it was like, drop everything and get up here so um, curfew is at 10 o'clock tonight and we have to try and make it back into Kingston before 10 p.m. otherwise we do risk being locked up so um, we don't really want that so we're going back as we can but uh, it gives you a chance to see well a dark sea but see can you put your is it on full? Oh, there you go. Is that a bit better? No, well. And this is actually a good road, right? Yep. So the... Great what we have to go up. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that we can hold, that we can maintain the signal that long because that road is unreal. I can't believe... I can't believe that is... <laughs> it's even drivable. Oh, sorry. So this is at, this is above Irish Town, right? Yeah. Okay. So the greatest news is tonight we have got Honey Hill. We've got the little dog that um, was absolutely breaking my heart yesterday and all of last night. So we don't actually know what her future holds, but at least I know she's not going to be left to die a slow, horrible death up there. And that's what counts to us. I think she'll be all right though, don't you? A little bit of food. Yeah. I doubt she's got heartworm if she's up there. There can't be any mosquitoes, surely. Is there mosquitoes no, up no, there? But she'll be tested for heartworm and tick fever and whatever. Well, just see how she goes. See how she goes. But this is uh, this is what is involved. Oh, that's a nice house. Wow. Who lives in a house like this? Okay. So Jamaica at its most beautiful doesn't always involve beaches and palm trees. I wish you could see the view. But we have got, I, we've just got her. That's, I'm just so grateful. It was absolutely killing me that we, I couldn't find her yesterday when I went to leave. And then it was like, oh, it's somebody's dog and you can't do this and you can't do that. And blah, de, blah, de, blah, and. 
can't leave something in that condition and that state and that needs to change rose up no. so there's lots of these little bars and everything everywhere which is a great thing about Jamaica oh there's somebody writing to me and I can't see because I've got my glasses Hang on. Yes, the same dog that was, um, that we said to yesterday. I've got photos now and we'll put photos up when we get back into Wi-Fi, but. Oh. You didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. God, Bennett, that stank. That smells like a pit. That was nasty. It's still smelling. I know, right? So it can't be you, otherwise you'd be dead. <laughs> Let me try and we're gonna wait until we get to the really scary bit of road because that is amazing and video it there. Alright guys. Oh hang on. Okay. Hey Jess, how are you my love? That's Jessica from Bracco Stables. Oh. How's Prince doing? Hope he's alright. Alright guys, well we're gonna plug in and I will Oh I can plug in. Have you got a thingy? Yeah, but I have my lead with me. Oh, you're doing okay. Sorry. But I don't know how to. Where's the thingy? The okay. There's the end. Okay. Look at that pretty little shop. A little light. There's Dr. Smith. There you go. You can see he's here. Oh, we're good. Okay. Alright, we should be charging. Alright. Everybody beeps and makes lots of noise. Make sure we don't miss the turn off, you know. Time to make sure we don't miss the turn off, yeah. We're nowhere near the turn off yet, though, are we? No. Okay. Trelawney for three weeks to open. Oh my god! Bracco is opening up again? That's brilliant! Well, Dr. Smith loves to ride a horse and so does Dr. Knight. We'll have to come up and go for a ride down there. Yep. They do a swim in the sea that is out of this world. It is beautiful. We'll do that. I'll give you a shout, Jessica. <laughs> Whoa! Love Jamaica driving. Yep. Especially the bus and the taxi drivers. Oh, I'm happy to hear that you're um you're opening back up again, my love. That's brilliant. Good for you. We'll be your first customers. You haven't done that right, have you? No. The Breco one. It's beautiful. And a lot of her horses are rescue. Okay. Yep. Oh, new name. What's that? And she wants to see Br see Dave. Yes, it's a rescue mission drive. Of course it is. What's the new name then, Jessica? What? Tell me. What new name? She's got Bracco's got a new name. Somebody bought him up? No, Jessica. This is Jessica's business now. Okay. This is her thing. She's doing a. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Really big stuff. And imagine with all this COVID business as well, and she's doing this. She's amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
No, she's one of my friends, so that's why she's amazing. All your friends are amazing. All my friends are amazing. There's Auntie Liz. She's joined us. Hi Liz, we're on our way back down from um, Flamstead. We went up to collect the same dog that I saw last night that I haven't slept worrying about. And um, yep, look at this for a road, guys. Ooh, de -boo. We don't have any more turn-offs before that turn-off, though, do we? Not that I can remember, no. And that turn-off will be on our right, yeah? Yep. Which it can't be for now because there's nothing on the right. No, this, the roof is on there. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, I wonder if anybody's getting car sick watching this. It's a roller coaster, right? You normally drive really slow, so I'm glad you're putting your foot down a bit. Because I'm never in a rush to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to get logged up. <laughs> if we're, if we're not back in our I'm homes by 10 o'clock, it's like... Ka -ching! Oh yeah, look at this one. This is another road slide. Well, at this point in time, we've got curfew. Come to you guys, come to you by. Oh, that's what we need. Look at him. That's what I want. He is flying. God, that girl's hanging on well, isn't she? Yep. I don't know that I'd be quite so brave on the back of that. Yep. I know you are, Jess. And we're going to do everything we can to help you. We're going to do a spay and neuter clinic down with you soon. What is the name? What have you tell me? What is the name you're using? Not that I, you know, I'm trying to read while I'm driving, but that thing is gone. That is the way to travel. Is that road? Is that? Uh, can you drive that on the road? Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is that like even legal? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't matter up here, but it's just like. Yeah, it's up here, so. We haven't got to Miss Lou's bit yet, have we? No. Oh. I haven't seen any dogs. It's cold. They're all sleeping. I, I was kind of hoping that maybe they just weren't up here. Because there's hardly much... Like shops and food bars. Ooh! Good lord. Oh my god, did you see how close that guy was to the edge then? Yep. Hey T, how are you my love? You alright? Well we're giving you a bit of a drive through Jamaica tonight. Dr Smith came by to have a meeting with me from Mobay, so he came all the way to Kingston. And I don't know what time, just after six was it? I got the message that the little dog had been found, the one that I saw yesterday. So we literally just jumped in the car and let out. Sand and saddle. Jess, that's brilliant. There's the sweet sop. Oh, no, sour sop, isn't it? Sour sop. So this is very much like old Jamaica. So if anybody's wanting to see what old Jamaica was like before it got so too touristy and stuff. I mean, that's a pretty decent building though, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that, all wrapped round a corner. Oh God, did you smell that food? Yes. Oh, I think I'm hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm also hungry. She's enjoying her dr our drive to Ter Teresa's. You know Teresa? Teresa Wall, she used to, she did the dog training. Oh yes. My tea. Yes, yes. And she's um, just had back surgery. Oh, sorry. Oh. So she's at home. How's the recovery? How's your recovery tea? You doing all right? Can't keep a good woman down, you know that though, right? <laughs> you know, she's gonna be up and about. She's probably doing far too much already, I bet. Sounds like a tummy. 
Woodford? I don't know where that is. Oh God, you haven't uh, again. I didn't. Oh That's wow, you. that is just oh. ripe. Yuck. Dr. Smith has got indigestion <laughs> problems. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow, that was a nasty smell. Yeah. You wonder if it, do you know, I wonder if it's like, sewage. how could it be, sewage. yeah, but how could it be sewage up here? Because there's nowhere to send it. But there's not that many people. Yeah, she's getting there. Five. Oh, what are they doing? Who knows? Okay, hiding the body. Oh, T's walking straight now. That means she's up and about causing trouble. She's over in Florida now. Okay. How's COVID? Oh God, I don't think she's enjoying it very much. She's got loads of frigging, she's got to stay in by herself, is not she? Florida's open. Is it? I don't know if anybody can hear. Yeah. Uh huh. I love driving on roads like this. I do, honest. Because it's a challenge. It's fun. You're like you're really driving. You're not just like in a straight. Oh, look at the water. Oh, it's a river. Sorry, my bad. And look, you notice this everywhere, there's retaining walls. Oh, COVID is bad there, T says. Yep. No and she's walking the dogs. You know she's got Fluffman and Hope. Oh, I remember Hope, I don't remember Fluffman. You don't remember Fluffman? Fluffman was a, was a dog that I had for ages in my bedroom. Little fluffy poodle, something, little shih tzu poodle. This is where Miss Lou is from, is that right? There's a statue or something up there for her. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was a very, very amazing woman. So this is a... Where, so is this Gordon Town then? That's oh, right. heck, hang on. So this is where we need to turn right. Yeah, somewhere off here. That would be somewhere off here. All right, guys. And this is where the road gets like really freaking weird, okay? So if we stay connection... Hey, at least we've got people can see us now, right? What's that? Is that it? No, that's not it. At least if we get run over or something, they can say, oh my God, at live feed, we watched them going backwards down the hill when they were trying to go forwards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to the town. Are you nervous yet? Nope, not it. Not it? Nope. Yeah. It is a right, but there's like a shops or something in front. Remember, oh, yeah, yeah, we came out in front of shops. Good job, I'm with you, you know, you get us lost. <laughs> You're the navigator, right? You are the navigator. I am the driver. Here you this go, here you go, driving. here you go, here you go, right. This is rally driving. Is this it? This looks like... Savage it. Pen Road. Yeah, man, here we like go. It. Here this we go. Like Put your seatbelts on, peeps. Giving me a heart attack here, says T. Please be careful. Well, we're trying. We're trying. We trying. But then the this. road gets crazy. No, they've got. Is my phone in the way for you? No. Let's go. Put it back here. Oh, it's a bit of a sharp left here. Oh, this is nothing new yet, guys. You wait. Giving me a heart attack, poor T. You better sit down, my love. Get a brandy. And it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually yeah, pretty exciting. Worse. So the road that we were telling you about that got, um, oh, what? There's a freak coming. Okay, and this is like one lane. So it's, um. Fuck up. And turn. And so he can do his thing. Thank you. A bit manly. Yep. That was a bit manly. You'd scruffing up the car like that. Here we go. Alright, so the road that um Okay, the road that you that we would have gone on, which would have saved all of this 
ex oh there's some doggies they look really healthy though yeah. that would have saved all of the oh Mac um <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh. I don't know if you can even see how steep it is there's the piano we're gonna call this piano lane right yep this is piano lane Now we're seeing the dogs, you see, where they, but they look in good shape. The country dogs. Country dogs. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> it's actually easier to come up. Yeah, I, I, that's what Sebastian was saying, is he thinks it's easier to come oh. up and go down. We went down it, so we came down it this evening, in which I have to tell you, hi! Hi! Which was pretty, which was actually a bit scary. Dr. Smith got very frightened. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling people that. I did not. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. I hope everybody has their seatbelts on. Woo! I know this is nothing yet, peeps. I know you think maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. But we haven't even started a bad bit yet, have we? Oh, have that. There's two steep hills, two really, really bad steep hills. Hi! Oh, he's not very talkative. Oh. Dude! Not my fault. You're under rally mode. Here we go, look at this, you see this is... Oh, oh no, it's up there. there! Oh my God, oh my God, Kate, take oh. Stop panicking. I'm panicking. I'm you are panicking. I can smell it. You've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not panicking. Please. I can't. How do you let people know how stiff my, my, okay. So if we were like, if my hand is on the dashboard, I just want people no. to know how steep no, this, this is. this is steep. I uh, this is like not, look, there's trees. That is more than a 45 degree angle. No, that is crazy. <laughs> you said that's why we better have had it going to the oh, oh. You've got to stop there, mate. Stop there. Keep going. You're alright. Go get him. Get him, bro. Don't move. Don't Roger. move, you doodle bug. Come on. Oh my god, I hope you got space. Have you got space to get around? Yeah, you got space to get around. Alright. Yeah, my has to be around for. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Excellent. Has to be a RAV4. That's what the guy said. He knows what he's talking about. So even Dr. Smith, who was a truck man, he's not a car man, but I think even he... I have to give the RAV4 a heads up. Man. This, this would be a good commercial for RAV4. It would actually, wouldn't this it? We'll have to let Tom know. Let Tom know that his cars are just doing this up and down like <laughs> actually let's not say a word until we get out of here first I think that's just the that hill is nuts we're trying to get back to Kingston what are you guys looking for looking for no, so we found what we were looking for and now we're trying to, this is so steep, I can't even, the front of the car, look how steep this is, that is a car, that's a van, look, can you see how steep we are, oh my god, come on little Ravi, come on Rav, that's my girl, no you can make it, come on my Perlene, Which parish is this? Bro, what parish is this? We're in St. Andrew. St. Andrew. That's Kingston, I think, isn't it? Yep. So that'll be Kingston down there. Oh, here we 
go. So we've been out looking for a little dog and we've got her thanks to the community of Flamstead and an amazing gentleman called Duncan. Um, oh, here we go. We're right on the main road now. Yep. So we're back up on the main road. So now we just do a left and a left and a left, a sharp left. Oh, giddy ant, that was fun. Wasn't it? Yes, you all right now? I'm always all right. You sure you're all right? I know you're a bit scared. It's all right. So oh, it's okay to be scared. Okay, it's okay to be scared. So this road, Tracy, is where you go if you're heading up towards Gordon Town. That road is that because remember the road has been cut off halfway, but not even ha no, it's not. What am I talking about? It's not even near. Um, the road has been broken down because of landslides. So to get over there, you have to do that detour, and it is. It, it was no, something else. Going down was a different story. Did you prefer going down or going up? No, going down was exciting. You weren't excited going back a bit? No. I was a bit, I was, a, I was kind no, of worried. Going down is worse. Yeah, no, going, that was, that yeah. was, that, and especially when you started getting frightened when the car yeah, was, yeah, sh it was yeah, sliding. Yeah, sliding and you grab onto me. Ah! <laughs> that, that should have been live when you were screaming. That should have been live. You're that, lying. That's, You're lying. That should have been live when you were screaming. Don't listen to a word of it. When started sliding, yeah. that should have been live. Yeah. 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 This is the one who keeps expelling gaseous air because he's so scared <laughs> of oh. driving these roads. <laughs> it's it is so beautiful though. Whenever you go, it, although it's a really long friggin' drive. Yeah. It is. It, did you know it was this far? No. You didn't, did you? You wouldn't no. have come, would you? Yeah. Do this on my own. <laughs> yeah, so anybody who needs to go to the Blue Mountains or anything like that, you too have to do that road. Yup. And I would suggest you get a RAV4, at least a RAV4 to do it. No cars, please. SUVs. Do you think or... a regular car could do that? Some of them could. It, I think it would depend on the driver though, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I don't know that you'd be able to do it in a regular car, but I mean, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. Oh, dear. Oh, we're coming up to Christine. Christine lives around here somewhere. Christine? Christine English. Oh, she's a lovely lady. She's here somewhere. I don't know where. It's, I know it's beside a wall. I think it's there somewhere. Oh, we have many walls. There. Oh, or Teresa's Subaru Crosstrek. Yep, that could make it. That could do it? That could do it. Okay. So T's all right here. Now you see we're not far. No, we're just about... Are you in a high gear still? Low gear? Low gear. <sighs> Did I tell you I was sick when I came up here the first time? By because of the winding? Yeah. For real? Really? You see, and that's why you're scared. That's why you're screaming then. I wasn't screaming. You were screaming. I was not screaming. Okay. Oh God, in your dreams, right. babe. You said that's why I should have been live then. No, I wasn't, because I wasn't and then screaming. Said, T, why are you screaming? Yeah, right. Teresa knows I wasn't screaming. She knows I'm hard. Teresa, she's just pretending. <laughs> she was screaming. She was screaming. I'm not that much of a girl. Come on. Almost to the bottom. So close, but yet so far away. I'm surprised we've still been, we're still live. This is amazing. See, 
Teresa are calling her a roughneck friend. Roughneck friend. That's me. Yeah, not you. Oh, Teresa. You would she's fuck it. Fooling you. She Don't knows me. Her, she Teresa. knows me. Teresa, she's lying. <laughs> she was crying up the hill. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> This road is quite boring now. Yeah, after what we've just done. I prefer the, the road out this came off. Woohoo! I gotta tell Tom about that, you know. Which one? That bit where we were coming up and the guy says oh, it has to be a round four. Yeah. That will make a perfect That would commercial. be like such a good yep. advert. Yep. They are freaking oh, amazing but, hey, though. We'll have his voice on that. Oh that's true. I'll have to try and save the video. I don't, oh god, I don't know, I don't know if I can download it because it's a long video. T, I didn't scream. Don't believe him. See, you're telling I'm, lies on me now. I'm not telling lies. When the van started sliding, you grabbed my hand and started screaming. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you had both hands gripping the steering wheel and sweat coming off your face, there was no way I had a hand to grab. You were like... You grabbed my arm. Oh, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and I had to save the vehicle. You had to save the vehicle, yeah. See? Is that the road down there? No, that's a different road. No, it is the road. No, maybe it's not. There was another car. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, no wonder we get sick. It's like double whammy. Look, we were- Perfect road to exercise on. Megs! Megs! Hey, Megsy! Megs, we're on our way. We're almost in. Where are we almost in? Papine. Papine. We're almost in Papine, babes. Put the kettle on. Oh, we have a question. What's the question? There you go, Tino's. Hmm? Maggie, put a kettle on, we're coming. Okay, she says. She won't, you know, she'll forget. <laughs> you know that, right? She'll forget coming down. I'll be like, hi, Megs, you put the kettle on. Oh, I forgot. Where are we heading? We're heading back to Kingston now. Thank God we're not going back to Mo Bay. What should I, Doc, question for you. Mm -hmm. What should I do to a puppy who was almost strangled? He got tangled in a cord. How well, long? is he still breathing? How long ago? How long ago? And how long was he strangled in a cord? And how long was he strangling in a cord? He's conscious, but I'm worried. Alright. Define conscious. Is he breathing heavy? Is he breathing heavily? Um. Is he salivating a lot? Is that a good question? Yes. Um, breathing well, heavily. Maybe, how's he breathing? How's his gums? Is he sitting is up gums, straight? His gums all pink and nice now. Oh, his gums pink. How old is he? I mean, I don't know if that would, would that have any effect. Uh, my thing is, as long as he's breathing okay, his gums are pink. Give him a little water. He's producing a lot of saliva. Well, it probably feels like shit, I would imagine. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. And he was probably, they do that as well when they're really frightened. Yeah, but. Don't they? So he might have been feeling really frightened as well. And nauseated also. And nauseated. He's yeah. four months old. Oh, bless him. Oh, God. Well, thank God you caught him before yep. he did strangle himself. There's a lot of puppies and dogs that people lose, you know through that. I had a friend who had a dog that they tied up on their balcony because it was running away and in the morning the dog had jumped oh, over the balcony and hung itself. It was absolutely horrible. But is the puppy 
Does she, should she take the dog to a vet in the morning just to have it checked out if possible? Or tomorrow's Sunday, isn't it? Uh, you could, but it all depends on how the dog is. If the dog's back to normal, no need to. Should, should she just give the dog some water for now and not should give it any food or anything yeah, to try and eat? In it. He's wagging his tail but walking swayingly. Yeah, okay. Well, he's still disoriented. Probably got lack of oxygen to the yeah. brain as well, I imagine. Yeah. Doing well for none of that, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, I listen to you, that's right. When you're talking sense. I'm always talking sense. No, you don't always talk sense. Always talk sense. Um He's wagging his tail but he's walking swaying. Yeah, I think just He's not eating or drinking. Okay, well, don't force him, my love. Just yeah. keep him quiet. Keep him warm and keep him safe and let him just stop panicking. And uh, give him access to water. Don't try and force him anything. If he's wagging his tail, that's a really good sign. Oh, what's going on here? It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance in COVID. <laughs> It's a weed party. He's not eating or drinking. Don't worry, my love. Don't worry. That just, does, it just happened, so yeah. no, I'm surprised. Um, but is his gums nice and pink? Are his gums nice and pink? Oh, bless her heart. That's her puppy. She's worried. Really? Covid yeah. dance. Yeah, I know. Oh, another one. Love the Christmas lights. Is there a curfew at 10? Like in an hour time? Yeah. And no one has on a mask. He does. He looks like Bin Laden. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, that was his hat. Oh, my God. Checking his gums now. Yes, 10 says T. That's why we're rushing because we... Oh, actually, you've done really good time for somebody who drives so slow. I only drive slow because I know where we're going. <laughs> speed kills, all right? And once I'm driving the speed limit, I'm actually not driving slow. Okay. The problem is a person that's driving fast. Check his gums, just make sure they're not like blue. Pale or blue. Or pale. White or blue. I wish you could get the smells, you know, well, not all the smells, but some of the smells out when people are looking at this. Oh, that's what I can smell, is the pan chicken. Mm. We were, go we've been on a rescue, my love. We've been on and come back and we're on our way back now. When we get to the house, we'll take her out and show you. But we're just getting back to the house and we've got to be quick because the curfew is at 10. And literally, if you're on the roads past 10, you are locked up, no questions asked. Looks like he's been out walking before and got licked, that's why he's got <laughs> he's got crunches now. Alrighty. Pink gums. She says pink gums. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, well don't worry about him too much then. Just make sure he's got some water and he's not near any cord or lead or anything like that. For that to happen again because that was a very lucky save you got there oh. yeah he needs a rest now yeah he's probably if he's been in shock my love he's gonna be like feeling exhausted once the adrenaline stops pumping and everything he's gonna be like oh I just want to sleep I just want to lie down now 
so just leave him be. Make sure he's got water. That's all you can do. Message us in the morning if there's any problems, but I think you'll find he's going to be okay now. No problem, my love. Just keep us posted if there's any problems. And thank you for having a dog and looking after him and loving him. And there's actually a lot of people here that do that. It's just sad situations that we see where they don't. Like this little dog that we've got tonight. That I am just over the moon that we have. See, this is where I know where you know where you're going because I'm at this right now lost. Although I kind of know where I think we should be. But you're like, no, I know Kingston. <laughs> Thank you, yes, keep us updated. She says, thank you, you've made her feel a lot better. You're welcome. <laughs> you know what, that might not be a bad idea, you know, to have like a vet question time. Like have a time during the, like that you do like a live feed, like say you turn around and you say, okay, six o'clock Jamaican time, every night we're gonna do a live feed. And then if people have like questions, or something like that. Oh yes, we're getting lots of love hearts. Lots of people think that's a good idea. The thing is though, you've got to understand is if you do something like that, your vet obviously can't do anything because he's not there, but he can at least offer some advice. Maybe we could run through things like um, if a dog is choking on food, how you would clear the airways and stuff like that. Yeah, but I couldn't say it. I was scared I was going to say the wrong word. <laughs> but don't you think that's a good idea? I mean, it doesn't have to be like every day. Once a week. But like once a week or something, we could do that. We could take a drive, drive to a community or something and then do it. No, it's okay. Getting a bit carried away now. She just jumped overboard. I did. I'm pretty sure we... This is where the zoo is. Isn't the zoo up here somewhere? It's right there. Okay. Alrighty. Excellent bit of driving. What's that? You. Me? Yes. What's that? I'm saying it. Oh, I said you. excellent bit of driving. Thank you. Well, Considering I, I, normally I, I think you drive like an old fart. You didn't you drive. I, I have no need to drive fast. No, but you do seriously drive very slow yes, regularly. because I take my time because I cross. That's why I have all these beautiful accidents. Like a, there's an accident happening in the States. The car was torn in half. Torn in half? Torn in half. Two cars collided, one was torn in half. How the hell did that happen? They have no idea. They're trying to investigate all the hell. Now, when you see stuff like this, you don't say, why the hell am I speeding? Yeah, but it's other people on the road as well. And that's my problem. Even if you're driving slow. That's my problem. You've so got somebody who doesn't us, know how to drive. But if we're both speeding, that's even worse. Well, I guess, but... So therefore, I have no need to speed. If I'm going to somewhere, I leave our earth. Well, you don't today because you've got police going to be on your case. Yeah, that's different. That's different. That's curfew. I'd rather. The dog that we just rescued is yes. um, very skinny. She has. Emaciated. Emaciated. What did you say? She's emaciated. Yes. And she has. No, I mean, like, really bad. Like, pure skeleton. It's like just fur over skeleton. Isn't it? Yep. That is a... If, when you do a grading on a horse, right? When a horse is skinny, I know yep. that you give it a grade from 10. Do you do the same with a dog? Um, it depends on where you are. They usually grade it up to five. So what would you say that dog is? One. It's poor, isn't it? Yep. Very poor body condition. So I wasn't overreacting? No. For once? I could do 
anatomy examiner. Yes. Yep. Anatomy examiner. She is. She is very very bad. But she get food. She gets some tender loving care. You know that the what um, the gentleman was saying to us though was that apparently the guy who had her had two dogs, her and a different one, and two of his dogs that he had came from that same guy. Oh, for real? Yeah, that he had rescued from her, from okay. him. And of the two dogs that the guy, I don't know, the other one died, and this one so uh, barely survived. I think there's some person that should have. Some persons, Jesus, it's like they shouldn't be allowed to have children either because you see how badly they treat themselves mm. and everybody else. It's just awful. What did Gandhi say? Um, the greatest of a nation, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way the people treat the their animals. animals. Yep. And that is... Gandhi was right. The truth. The truth. Gandhi. Absolutely the truth and the thing you know what we're trying to like implement is you know people say oh my god it's Tammy here we go again she's crazy trying to save all the dogs or cats or donkeys or goats or whatever but what they don't realize is that you start with look at what's happened to Gold Street yeah. look at Charmaine yeah. I mean I know the guy, the guys on there. amazing they, you know, they, they've been empowered to make a difference, to actually stop something from suffering. Yep. And by having that, it reflects back on everything. The whole community, you know, the kids and everything. And that is what is so important. It's not just about saving the animals. It's about saving people, saving communities. You know, love thy neighbor and all that lot. That's long gone. But, you know, you do things like this and you get together. People get together and work and do stuff and save animals and, and do a spay and neuter clinic. And it's just incredible what happens. Oh, Susie, Davey's doing amazing. He's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. Isn't he such a precious little guy? He's very miserable when he doesn't know you. But once he knows you, he's absolutely lovely. But I think he just gets worried because he's um, he thinks you're going to poke and prod him and stuff, you know. <laughs> well, I do. I think that's because he was so sore. That. that has happened to him a lot. So. No, not again. It's a lot, it's a he is very beautiful. Like, here comes a bit again. I think I actually think David could be a mini Malinois. I do. He could be a pocket Malinois. Oh, no, I think that's a bit much. Do you not see it though? That no, not, sharp no, face no, and those ears? No, no, no. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah. He's a mini Malinois. That's actually, that could be a new breed. Mini Malinois. <laughs> Malinois. The Davy breed? The Davy breed. <laughs> the wobbly breed. Well, they breed hairless cats, don't they? Yeah. Uh, Maybe they can... Uh, his face is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And his little ears are sharp, just like a Malinois. I do. I think he's a mini Malinois. I think we've stumbled upon something. Okay. Yep. I pretty much reckon he's pretty unique though, right? Yeah, it is alright. Oh, guardsman. Guardsman. That's nice, they just have one dog tied in the back of it today. I like how they have their vans enclosed like that though. Yep. But you know what? When you see a company like Guardsman and Marksman, at least you know that those dogs are looked after. It's when you see the little people that they have the those dogs. Oh my God, Ro, that is just heartbreaking. <gasps> you 
didn't, you naughty boy. It's, it's more beer cool. Oh, T was watching pit bulls and paroles and they rescued a dog with Dave's issue. Yeah, I think there's more. We've seen a lot of cats with it, haven't we? Cats, yeah. But I, this is actually the first same dog I've seen. Is it the same condition? Who knows? You'd have to do a test to find out. I mean, you can't really judge off signs because a dog showing symptoms for one thing could like mean many other things. So, it's just about doing diagnostic testing and then know exactly what it is. But guess what? We don't have a CT in Jamaica, do we? No. So we could do a CT scan on David. Oh, it's no, a big don't. bus. We could do a CT scan on David and have a nice. Anyone throw wants, it out there to the anyone, universe. Anyone throw. wants to offer? <laughs> yes. One day. A mobile CT unit. What about x-ray unit? Mobile x-ray unit. <laughs> Mobile spay unit, that's what we need. Spay and neuter clinic yep. that's mobile. A bus that we could kit out with three tables to do surgeries. That'd be nice. Yeah. Everything's possible though, mate, Everything's I tell possible. you. Drive around the island. What is it called? Hy Cerebellar hypoplasia? Is that right? Did I say it right? Hypocerebellar hypoplasia. Okay. Come on, guardsman. Is guardsman and marksman the same company or different? They're actually owned by the same person. Oh, okay. was not me. You know that was not me because I'm sat right here beside you in the car. I'm not too sure. That was actually very foolish. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's very bad driving. That's bad. Very, driving. very bad driving. We don't do things like that, do we? We don't. No. What time it does? No. Oh, bless her. Susie says if she ever won the lottery, You'd be my first choice. I dream of the day I could do that. Oh. I'm playing every week. Thanks, Susie. Keep going. Oh, somebody else. I don't know. Ivor had a puppy with Dave's symptoms, but he didn't survive. I have to tell you, if it wasn't for the vets that looked after Dave, and it was a lot, Dr. Knight worked tirelessly to save that little dog. Dr. Joe from Noah's, same thing. It was, it was a lot of work absolutely a lot of work i don't know that he would have survived without the care that he got Probably not. um so it's it's to have had it oh my god he went up the pavement then oh i'm sorry he didn't survive but dave had other other issues as well you know not just the wobbly remember he had like a tick fever yep, tick something fever. And his joints were aching and they would swell and he'd have a fever that was like off the chart. Oh, keys. Hang on, I need keys to get in. What did I do with my keys? Oh, look at the tree. You want to just reverse it and drop out the thing and then head off? Yeah, probably. Or unless you want to just, but you'd have to carry it in for me. No, I'll We're just gonna unload the dog and then let Dr. Smith get home before it um, the curfew happens. Oh, there's dogs out in the yard. I'm not sure they won't run. I hope not. Except for Phoebe. Last time Phoebe ran up. Oh, Phoebe's a donut. Watch this door. This gate doesn't close on you, you know. Doesn't have a center. Yeah, but it's the center. Oh, okay. Let's get this little dog. Angela! Angela, mommy's come back! Angela, 
Mummy's come back. Hello, Maple. All right, all right. Come on, inside. Let's go. Where's Hickey? I don't know. I didn't see Hickey go out. Hickey's there. Right, let's get... Can we, we need to let Roe out because he's got to get home before... No, no. Oh, shit. Maple's about to set off the neighbour's dogs. Huh? Maple! Yeah, Maple, come here. Maple! Maple! Alright, let's just get her out. Just put her here, Doctor. Just put her here. Let's get you. Let's get you gone. Come, Come Mickey. He wants to get back. Come here. Maple! Do you think she's gonna run out? He needs to leave. You don't think she's gonna leave? Run out? Alright, Hickster. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh no, there's something in the way. All right, Maple's just upsetting the neighborhood. Let's get Doc gone. <laughs> Sorry, Hickey. Doc, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, watch out, the gate's opening. Watch out, babes. Alright, let's just get Doc out of here and then we'll look at this dog, alright? Sorry about the rush, guys. Stay. Maple. You bugger. Is it going to close now? Do I press it again? Well, she's gone over there after bullet now. There's Angelo! Come on, do I press it? You can, it will close in 10 seconds. There you go. Alright. It's alright, Hickey. It's alright, Maple. It's alright, sweetheart. It's alright, Honey Hill. Maple. Maple? She's giving you hell, mate. Inside, Maple. In Maple, inside. Get inside. Angela, inside. Go, go, Ange. Inside. All right. Hey, my darling. We're going to show everybody what we just... Why did we drive up that big road? Why did we drive up that big road? Why did we go out? Hey? Is that a tail wag? Is that a tail wag? It's alright, I don't want you to run away. Here she is, guys. So this is the reason that we drove up there. And if you see back here, you can see the sores on her body. And that's on both sides. So now I'm going to feed her and I'm going to give her water. And we will chat later. Thanks for joining us. End. <laughs>